everyone, Sigmulator here. Welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Yeah, hold on a second. Careful, lad. Why are these things so fast? <laughs> Out there. I see we're already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. Smart ass. What's the chain in the water for? That'd be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. Huh. I see. That'll be how we get across there, then. That's right, Atreus, pretend to help. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. Excellent. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. <laughs> uh, I've got another one of these situations. Explore all the banks. That's it. Nothing else here? All right. That's where we came round. Uh, did you see that over there? No. See what where? Channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. All right. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. I got it. If only we were in Midgard, that water would be frozen in a second. Ah, uh, good. Ah, another one of these. Yeah. 
Alright, where's the last one? In the water, maybe? Here we go. Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Raid Mars Brassard, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. All right, cool. So that's uh, another side quest. Bedus. Uh, collect enough apples, maximum health increased. Oh, collected. Don't know when I collected those, but cool. Not gonna uh, feel bad of a uh, more health. Dirty enough to climb? Aye, good old dwarven craftsmanship. <laughs> Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's got to be a faster way to get down there. What this you mean? Have it last second to parry. Okay, cool. Well, time that badly. Anyone else? Nice. I got it. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, what's down here? Well, that takes us around to the wheel, so let me just. Oops. See what's up here. All right, jobs are good. Gotta be some way to turn the wheel up here. I imagine so. I imagine it would involve brute strength. Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in the ground. 
An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spatelfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? I think so. Wow. Okay. Good job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I know, right? I'm just that damn good. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Sparrow Farm? I lad. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Makes sense. Smash all those. Any beat? Nope. Okay, so I guess we need to go up here. I think we can fit under that bridge. <laughs> they have uh, things like that in the in the Netherlands, where people literally have to lie down to get uh, to get underneath bridges. Bastards. Okay, no going further this way. Oh, hello. Okay, something else to keep an eye out for. Oh, hello. Find anything good up there? Yeah, a few odds and sods. Okay, I, I guess we're done with this bit. And now this side. Shit. 
house Lovely stuff. Those things are everywhere. <laughs> Did they cap those geysers? <laughs> looks, like, looks like it. Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. You know that kid. Can I get up there? No, but I can hit it from here. Yes. The wheel's moving and the gate's coming down. That's dwarven ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Rock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well... All too often, people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Well, I guess uh, Kratos would know a thing or two about that. to keep our options open let's just keep moving I'm glad we're out here exploring a new realm maybe we could just try to enjoy the warm I guess not a heat guy we myself find a way to open that gate if we want to get to neither there For colder temperatures. Did I just step on? Get re I can get resources from those little shits. Good to know. Nothing else over here.
Oh, something over here I want to check. Cover that geyser from here. Oh, I know I can. <laughs> okay. Not quite powerful enough. Maybe I need to cover this geyser. There we go, sorted. Big. See anything from that block? Hmm. Yeah, I see a, a thing over there. Nothing I can climb up in here. So how do I get up there then? What about freezing the geyser under the wheel? I just had Maybe. that same thought. <laughs> ah, I get it. <laughs> there we go. That's one of Cavassia's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Story of relentless genius from the mind of... Yeah. Imagine, dear reader, if you'd, if you'd so dare, creatures of metal that screech through the air, that swim through the seas, that bound across the land, but are brought to their knees by a warrior's hand. Her origins hidden, her hair red as blood, finding places forbidden, buried under the mud. But who is this young girl? Who is more than she... Seems who will rescue her people and slay these behemoths. Hmm. Who knows, Tiddly Pom? Oh, I see. The case that. I do one, and the trace does the other. Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. Alright, onwards then. Oh, 
Look, resources. Oh, slag deposits. Lovely. Slag. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fumble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus. Look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellia, brothers. Hey, towards. Oh. They're, uh, running away. Hmm. Not a good sign. sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. There we go. Place to pull in. Talk to we you don't for want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. <laughs> okay, I can't do anything with that. Nope, okay, nothing breakable there. <laughs> Sorry, chicken. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. I could hear one of those bloody ravens. There it is. Eyes of Odin. Forty-eight of those bloody things. All right then. Sentry, hello. Turn your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Be with you two seconds, Sindri. I see pumpkins. I have to smash them. Take your time. Good day. Don't want to hear any more about shortages. A seer got exactly what we need. My work shouldn't have to suffer just because they get off on being withholding. Anyway, I need a barrel of oil, as many bundles of firewood as can be spared, five uh, ingots of pure, yep, steel, and oh yeah, goddamn food to goddamn eat. Whenever you're ready. Be right with you. All right, what's this? Thanks for grabbing this. What is a dwarf? 
You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Ah, you can give me something to do, uh, hit these shields with. Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material. Ow! <clears throat> Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it going to be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Ah. Whew. Oh, there. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. I certainly didn't expect you to serve half the creepy crawlers in need of Valir. How was I supposed to know they were there? Find your watchers! There, I've got some health back. Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. <laughs> it should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. All right. At your service. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh, my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an organism if I ever had one. Ah, so I have a resurrection thing now. Nice. Artifacts. That belonged to one of the rebels, didn't it? Till we meet again! Right, can I not do any more upgrades? You'll handle nice uh, axe. Shield. What can I make for you? Hey, what happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. <laughs> Oh, I think we're good. Got it. All right, before we crack on down the sewers, I want to go back to where those shields were. Over here. Oh, another thing. Another of Cavassia's poems. Cavassia. Okay. 
Being a fictional poem by Cavassia, master of all poets. Okay. The armies assembled, nine warriors strong, well rested and fed, for the war would be long. The orb in the air and branches in hand, a swing, a collision, the spectators stand. For nine nights and nine days, they fight without rest, running then waiting to prove themselves best, until finally, mercif mercifully, the army does rout. One army triumphant, the other struck out. Alright. I'm not a poet, so I can't really crit offer any critiques. Good job. Alright, now we can progress further. Any more glowy green? No. Alright, let's move on then. Best of luck. Cheers! Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. <laughs> Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. I don't think that's gonna work. Sorry to bother you. If you're you. telling something, please bugger off. If you're not telling something, uh, please kindly bugger off. <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. I'm Gens. Excuse me, but we're looking Nothing for for you here. I don't care what you want. No food. No encouraging words. No, nothing. Leave. All right. Let's see what's up here. This looks promising, right? Oh, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. A firebomb from the chief anti odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to less subtle means of resistance. Cool. How did you get back around here? <laughs> yes. Go. You may need some special equipment to use this. 
Yeah, I think you're right. All right. Maybe we've we'll explored all we can round here. Find out. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, Head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. All right. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. All right, cool. Put down the mining rigs. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. <laughs> Dwarven compass and map can guide Kratos to objectives. Press left on the side. All right, cool. All right. We'll un untap that for now. All right, sounds good. Come, a boat cannot be far. Huh, really your Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. I saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derlin's. Maybe. Once I'm fin finished uh, pillaging this village or city, whatever. Well, that could not have been good for the uh, for the old back. Mr. 
gateway added to the map. Excellent. Gonna activate it just to make sure. The eyes of Odin. Alright, cool. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. All right. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. Oh, yeah. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. All right. Let's sort these rigs out first. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Think from the D. Oh yes, I remember now. Mimir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. I see. A dragon sculpture is not bad. What's the best thing? It's not a sculpture. You asshole. One There we go. Really, there's more. There we go. There we go. Bastards. Roar! 
I need to find things for that. There's another one around here. I'll get to you eventually. Okay. Not sure what that did. Ah, that would have been useful. Not going to get you with that, with those. Not the first time someone's told me that, I suppose. <laughs> Don't breathe. Mind your breath. Could be referring to the polluted air of the bay or a warning against speaking ill of Odin. Both equally likely, in my opinion. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm sure I'm destroying those for some reason. Hey, where are your symbols? They've got to be around here somewhere. I think I see something. Okay, there's one. The other ones are up here somewhere. Ah, uh, got you now, you little shit. Knew there had to be a way to get you. What have you got for me? Nice. Right, was there anything else I could do up here? Or was, was that it? Yeah, that might have been it. Let's have a look around see if I can see any more of those symbols. Right. I don't have the equipment I need to deal with that. No, nothing over there. I don't think there's anything else I can do over there currently.
Can I get to one of these rigs through here? I might be able to. So the Mystic Gateway. Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be a lot. Sure he can. This will be of use. Oh, I see it's over there. Whatever you need. Not as good. It looks better than what I currently have, but it's not as powerful and the defense is lower. Increases my vitality a bit. I can't make it yet. Um, vitality goes up again, but can't do anything with it. By the way, if you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, could you bring me any slag you find? I could use the material for my crafting. Sure thing, buddy. Let's have a quick... The mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. <laughs> Alright, let's go see what we can do. Wow, there's a lot to explore here. Kinda nice to be out of Midgard for a bit, huh? Yeah, well, I do, do like an adventure. Right, I can't, can't quite reach you. Oh, it's one of you fucks. On your right. Yeah, I see it. Behind you, incoming. Bloody hell. Rigs like they chock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. This is not. Ah, hold on. I see. Yeah. 
Oops. No. Yeah, you can stop that. We don't we don't need that. That's not what I wanted to do. If the dwarves agree to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They need their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. Maybe. I not quite get that last one. Okay, that did something. Oh, it lit it. Good job. Maximum rage increased. Yes. All right, I think we're good to go. Huh. You right there, kid? Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. <laughs> Nice simple answer, I like it. Alright, Sindri. Is that pure Spartalfheim slag? Give it here. Please. I'm here for you. Poor souls. Fighting the ace here is a thankless job, as you well know. Nothing appeals to you? Alright, so what can you do with that with the slag I gave you? I'll disinfect my tools. No, I can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with that either. Alright, what about my weapons? All right, cool. service well tell very much and on that note i'm going to end this episode here thank you very much for taking the time to watch this guys if you liked it like subscribe ding that bell i've been sigma later this has been god of war ragnarok and i'll catch you next time take care now